exactly how they did it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's my privilege uh, on behalf of my privilege on behalf of Christ's promise to recall to all of us that we believe that Jesus is the host at this table of communion. And that for us means that each and every person here is welcome at the usher's direction from the back of our worship space to the front to come forward to take one of the wafers and <coughs> dip it into the grape juice and again experience that time in quiet and reflection to be with Jesus. That means for us here at Christ Promise that you do not need to be a member of this church or any church to come forward to receive this sacrament in Jesus' name because Jesus is our host and the table of Jesus, as far as we understand it, was always one of extravagant, extravagant welcome. And so as we begin this time of communion, we give thanks for each and every one that is here in body and for all of us that join us in spirit as we prepare once again to share the sacred meal. And so we remember as we gather with a great cloud of witnesses that this bread was once many grains scattered in a field. And by the grace and glory of God has been brought together to become one bread, one body, broken for us. That we, though gathered, gathered from scattered places, might become one in Christ Jesus. And the cup that is given to us, each and every one of us, is the cup of life. The cup that brings us energy, that brings us hope, that brings us faith, and that brings us hope. Given to each of us. <coughs> and so we pray. Come Holy Spirit, come. Bless these wafers and bless this grape juice that they may be for us, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, bread of heaven and cup of love. Let us be nourished by this meal that Jesus provides. And oh my goodness, faith as a mustard seed. Amen and amen. 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 Things are now ready. 